Hello, welcome to the Automated Tester. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. In this episode, we're going to take a look at integration tests. What they are, how they work, and why you'd want to use them. Let's begin. Integration tests are about testing connectivity. It's a confusing word because pretty much every kind of automated test does this in some kind of way. But the idea with integration tests, specifically ones written for the web, is to test underlying services instead of always having to test through the UI. To see what I mean, let's see what an integration test might look like for a login page. Integration tests, at least the ones we're writing for the web, are the scripting and automating of HTTP requests in the form of a test. For example, if we wanted to verify that the underlying web service responsible for logging someone into our system, we could write an integration test for that like this. What this test does is create a test user that we can use to test logging into the system. It then navigates to the login page, sends or posts the username and password to the login page, follows the redirect to the HTML page we would visit after successfully logging in, and then verifies that we're on the correct web page after. This test, written in Ruby and Rails, demonstrates how some testing frameworks automate HTTP scripting. Get login path, post login path, follow redirect, and assert select are all commands built into the Ruby on Rails testing framework that make the writing of integration tests for websites easy. Now, don't worry if you're not using Rails for your website. Just try to get the basic idea of what's going on here, which is that we are sending and receiving HTTP requests to our underlying web service and testing that. Now, you may be wondering, why would I ever need to write this kind of test when I've already got a UI test that pretty much tests the exact same thing? And that's a great question. The answer is twofold, fragility and speed. UI tests in many ways are the ultimate form of integration test. They go completely end to end through the entire application and they truly ensure everything is hooked up, connected and working. That end to end connectivity, however, comes with a price and that price is speed and fragility. UI tests tend to be the most fragile kind of automated test we can write because once we change the UI, we often end up breaking the underlying tests. It also takes a lot of time to run all those UI tests. Spinning up browsers, going end to end, and hitting databases is orders of magnitude slower than the other kinds of automated tests we have at our disposal. So the advantage of integration tests is that they can bypass the fragility of the UI test while still testing the integration and connectivity of our underlying services. And for web applications, that's often our web services that speak HTTP. So in summary, integration tests test connectivity, usually at the service level of our applications, are faster and less fragile than UI tests, and are a great way to test the underlying services of our applications without having to go through the UI. Okay, that's it. I hope that sheds some light on what integration tests are and how they work. Until next time, happy testing.